What is going on guys? Great for today. Let's talk about the state of PvP in the Elder Scrolls Online. Now, I'm not a massive PvP fan because of all the lag issues and problems that have kind of come with the game over the years. I do play Battlegrounds a fair bit. Uh, I used to play a lot more in Cyrodiil than I do now. I hardly ever even go to, into Cyrodiil now much. Maybe in Imperial City sometimes, but even though I might be more of a PvE fan when it comes to the game, I, I still feel like the PvP side, the PvP players out there definitely need some changes uh, just to make the kind of overall game health good for everyone. Uh, when it comes to PvP, I think the biggest thing that all of us would consider to be a problem if you ever even played uh, Cyrodiil, and even in Battlegrounds you have the issue sometimes of lag, but it is definitely worse in Cyrodiil. Uh, that, needs to be looked at and it's been talked about by Zoss for several years now for long as I can remember actually about trying to upgrade and, and fix the servers and you know how it runs and all that kind of stuff and that's something that definitely needs to be worked on first but I think there's a lot of other things that could be added in as well we have all of these DLCs that come out every year of course we just had the Blackwood chapter not long ago we're going into the Waking Flame DLC which is out now on PC about to be out on console and I think with these updates, they could add more things into PvP as well because all these updates seem to really focus on the PvE side when it comes to content. And of course, it might have some fixes for PvP. I'm not quite sure exactly what they would want to add or what players would want added in, but you could do a lot of different things. You could add in some new types of content within Cyrodiil, within Battlegrounds. You could add things in to change the way the map works or to change the way the map looks or you know to change up things just in general I, I think you could progress how the war in Cyrodiil has been uh, going uh, you know over a certain time you know, because that was kind of the end game idea when the first when the game first came out that it was going to be everyone's going to go to Cyrodiil everybody's going to go in there and fight you know fight for their alliance that kind of thing and over the years of course the game has been out now of course seven years on PC six years here on console and I think they could probably do some things with progressing the war in Cyrodiil and change a few things up. But like I said, mainly the first thing that needs to be worked on is performance. I know no matter what you play on, if you're on the PC side or the console side, that, that performance issues in PvP are one of the biggest things, one of the biggest problems that a lot of people have uh, with the game. And I do agree that it does need to be worked on. And like I said, I've even experienced issues within Battlegrounds, which is a lot smaller maps, a lot smaller player counts, and you still have lag problems and lag issues. But I'm really curious what you guys would like to see added in with PvP. Besides just, you know, saying the, the normal fix the lag, because I think we all know that needs to be fixed. What would you like to see content-wise brought to, you know, ESO's PvP? Whether it be on the Battleground side or on the Cyrodiil side. I think there's a lot they could do here. And I think they need to focus a little bit more on that side of the game when it comes to that player base. Because there's a lot of people I know that play the game that really only play PvP. And they don't really mess with anything on the PvE side. Unless they're needing to farm some type of gear. But most players will just go in and buy a lot of stuff they need if it's an overland drop. Now, of course, if it's a dungeon drop or trial drop, they'll have to go in and farm those things to be able to get them. But I think they could start adding things in uh, for the PvP side with these updates we get. Because it seems like all the content mainly is always focused on PvE. And really the only thing the PvP players get is just some fixes here and there. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when everything goes live here on the channel. And check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.